How do you make a gene drive mosquito? Let's have a look. At this point, a lot of hard work has been completed in the laboratory to assemble the various genes, regulatory sequences, genetic markers, and other functional pieces of DNA that now comprise a gene drive system. We'll not look at the details here of the system, but instead we'll simply show it as a piece of blue DNA. In order to introduce that gene drive system, or any transgene, into a mosquito, one begins by physically introducing the DNA genetic construct containing the gene drive and any other genes of interest into a very young mosquito embryo by microinjection. The injection is accomplished using a microscope, fine glass needles, and micromanipulators. This is a technically demanding process, and this video shows the microinjection of mosquito embryos. In this case, the embryos are of the yellow fever mosquito, Aedes aegypti. These eggs have just been deposited by a female and are almost white and are fairly soft. They have been collected and carefully aligned in a row for convenience. In an hour or so, these eggs will be dark black, very rigid and hard and impossible to inject. These eggs are about the size of a lowercase i on a typical printed page. The glass needle on the left is filled with a solution containing the transgene. And if you watch closely, you might be able to see the liquid in the needle being expelled into the embryos. This is a little like brain surgery, except here, many of the patients are expected to die, even at the hands of an experienced and talented surgeon. This is not easy. There are different technologies that can be used to mediate the integration of the blue transgenes. The red genetic element shown here serves as the integrator, and it will consist of, among other things, an enzyme that can be thought of as simply a DNA integrase. Here, those details are not important. As the injected embryo develops, hopefully some, but definitely not all of the cells in the embryo will acquire the transgene and be integrated into a chromosome. If the cell will go on to produce sperm or eggs, germ cells, in the resulting adult, the transgene will be transmitted to its progeny following mating. The resulting progeny will be fully transgenic with all cells of the insect containing the transgene or gene drive. The technology for creating transgenic insects is not 100% efficient. So only a fraction of the progeny arising from that insect that had been injected as an embryo will be transgenic. Typically, a gene conferring a visible phenotype is included in the package of transgenes so that identifying those initial transgenic insects is easier. Often, a gene encoding a protein that fluoresces under some conditions is used, making the identification of a transgenic mosquito easy, even at the larval stages. Subsequent mating of that gene drive containing mosquito will then result in a line of mosquitoes with the gene drive which can then be researched and evaluated. This process in mosquitoes, from injection to a transgenic line, will take a couple of months, if all goes well. 